Hi there, today I thought I would make a quick tutorial video for all of you explaining how you can customize the virtual classroom template by adding text boxes, videos, clip art images, and links. So to start off, I'm gonna be working off of this virtual classroom template in a simple modern design. Um, this template is available in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. So if you're interested in viewing it, you can click the link below the video. So let's start off talking about text boxes. I have included a text box for you in this product on the smart board. All you'll have to do is click and then you can erase my words and write your own message to your students. So maybe you want to write a good morning message. Um, maybe you want to include instructions for an assignment that you'd like students to complete. It's totally up to you how to customize that. You do have the option of adding an additional text box as well. Um, perhaps you'd like to add one to the smart board. All you would have to do is go up to insert text box and then you would click and then at the same time drag. So it would create a text box for that easel area and you can resize it and customize it the way that you would like. All right, so next let's talk about videos. Um, one fun thing that I really love to do for the virtual classroom is add videos for my students because I feel like it makes it a lot more interactive and interesting for them. So to insert a video, we're going to go up to insert and then click video. There's a couple of different options. You can pull up a video from your Google Drive. So if you have a video saved there, um, maybe it's one of you doing a lesson that you want to add to the virtual classroom, you can pull it up from your Google Drive. The other option is using the YouTube feature. And I really like this feature. It has a couple different ways that you can go about it. Um, the first way is you can just do a search right in that search bar. So let's say you wanna look for a Jack Hartman video. You can search Jack Hartman and it will pull up a bunch of different videos that you can kind of scroll through and find the one that you want to add. The other way that you can use this is you can go um, directly to the YouTube website and you can do a search for a video. And then once you find the video, you can right click on the image, click copy link address, go back to the presentation and you can paste the link or the address right into that search bar and it will find the exact video that you need. So I kind of prefer that feature because it's a little bit more specific of a way to do it. So click the video once you find the one that you want and click select and it will put the video directly into your virtual classroom so that when students um, open the virtual classroom document, they can click on the video and listen to it right in your virtual classroom. They do not have to go out to the YouTube website. So I really like that feature. The last thing I want to talk about is adding clip art images. So the way that we add clip art is we go up to insert image. If you have clip art on your computer, you can select upload from computer. Otherwise, select search the web and you will see that the sidebar pops up and I went ahead and did a search for board game clip art because I wanted to add that image to the virtual classroom. I always include the word transparent because it means that the image will not have its own background. After you do the search, you'll see all the different options will pop up. You can click the one that you like, then click insert and it will put that image directly into your classroom and you can go ahead and resize it, move it around, and you can also link it. You can link it out to a website. So let's say that you want your board game image to link to the PBS Kids website. You would just copy the web address for PBS Kids, and then back in your Google Slides presentation, you would click the image, go up to the top toolbar and click Insert Link, and then right click and paste the web address and then click apply. And you will see that your image is now linked when um, students click on it, they can click that link and it will take them directly out to the website. So I hope that this video helped you understand a little bit more about how to customize the virtual classroom. Please feel free to follow my Teachers Pay Teachers store for more fun products and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.